Hi, so I'm going to talk today about my uh, first restoration project here on this uh, Bizarre Francis copper pan. Now, I'll show you the logo here as best I can. So you see Bizarre Francis New York 666. Now, it is not the devil's cookware, I promise. Okay? A uh, little history the company, Bizarre Francis or Bizarre Francois. <laughs> whatever I'm not French I don't know uh, it was in New York but the pans are made in France imported here and they were sold at a store the store's location 666 in New York that was their address uh, the pan is old uh, don't exactly know how old I know that when I received it it was absolutely beaten up uh, in fact, this looks a million times better than when I first received it, uh, and I'm still not done. Uh, it was completely bent. I mean, dented. It did not sit flat at all. This handle would not, I mean, it was just loosey-goosey, man. Like, these rivets were so loose. It was unbelievable. And the worst part, the worst part, this thing was just covered inside, on the back, on the handle, in fact, you can actually still see a little bit of it right there. And I mean, people do that to protect the pan, but it completely ruins it for cooking. And I'm trying to get this back into cooking condition. And to be honest, it really isn't that far. I was surprised to see that most of the tin lining, like you can see this kind of silvery finish on there, that's still tin. That's still tin in there. Uh, and it looks like someone may have actually got a little too hot on the temperature here a couple times in the past uh, that'll happen if, if you uh, have too much heat in one spot for too long you know the this type of pan you know this is for you know a gas type stove where you can be moving it you know keeping the heat evenly distributed this is a fish pan it's an omelet pan something in between the two don't know exactly which if you know I'd honestly love to hear about it but yeah, so like, if you're if you're me and you have this stove type, you know, oh hey, cake. But if you have this kind of stove, you can't use this kind of pan. You could if it was thicker, but that's another issue. This is a like one millimeter thick or thin uh, piece of copperware. So this is something that you can really only use on gas stoves, and even then. Um, it's something that you want to be using very lightly, very fast. It's not something that you would get to leave behind. There is one positive to this, is that because it's so thin, it allows, uh, you know, some pans, thick pans, they have heat retention. This actually has the opposite of that. It, it loses its heat very well uh, due to copper's very, very efficient copper, you know, uh, heat conductivity. It's really amazing, the whole science behind it. But overall, I'm very close to getting this done. Um, I cannot wait for this to actually be in a cook, you know, cook safe condition. Because I want to use it. That's, that's the whole point is to bring these things back to life and use them. You know, I mean, it's gorgeous, you know. And, and it's, it's kind of a piece of history, you know. Cooking history. I love it. I really do. And, you know, I, I hope to make several more videos uh, keeping track of the progress of this pan and others that I find along the way. You know, things I find in flea markets, things that I find, you know, on auctions. You know, I'm always out there looking, you know, such as the way of an antiques person, I guess. But, yeah, really the last thing that has to be done is the, you know, I have to kind of brush this out with a you know angle brush kind of deal bench brush deal that kind of stuff you know what i'm talking about and then uh, put it over some fire flux start tinning you know and let's see how many times it takes me to figure it out i mean pretty quick learner but uh, you know we'll see we'll see anyways if you have actually watched through this whole thing and you know listen to me ramble about this pan for let's see five minutes now i thank you for watching uh yeah have a great day